All right, guys, we're back. Jared here bringing you another video review of a useful app. We love our useful apps. And yes, this video was done just after I did the video of those two silly Gangnam style apps. So that's why you're seeing those there. If you want to watch that video, well, just check out the playlist. Um, <laughs> oh, those are funny apps. Anyways, so getting into this one, it's called Screen Filter. Um, what Screen Filter allows you to do is actually lower your screen's um, brightness uh, below what it actually comes stock, okay? So um, just give you an idea, this is the lowest brightness setting of my device, okay, Galaxy S3. But um, for a lot of people out there and a lot of different devices and ROMs and whatever it may be, um, you know, sometimes the lowest uh, dim setting is um, still a little bit too bright at night. And, you know, I've come across that with lots of devices that I, that I review and test out for a couple of weeks at a time. You know, I like to turn my brightness down to minimal um, just before I go to bed so that if I wake up in the middle of the night for whatever reason to read some emails, comments, reply, things like that, um, you know, it's it's just too bright. It just kills my eyes. So I always have it on the dimmest setting. But again, you know, some of these devices, their dimmest setting is really poor. So that's where you download Screen Filter. I'll be posting a link in the description below to you guys, for you guys to download. And um, just clicking on it right away will activate it. And I believe the default setting is like 27% or something like that. But you'll notice that it dimmed the screen. Now, you want to be careful with this. So just drop down your notification panel. You can click on it in there. And um, you can set the brightness. Now, you can set a percentage, like a numerical percentage. Um, or you can just use the slider. I would just use the slider. But I guess if you want to be you know, super precise with it... Um, I'm having some difficulties pressing that. Look at that. Okay, there we go. It was just my thumb. Um, anyway, so you can set different values and enable soft key backlight. Um, this is really like a nighttime app, right? <clears throat> now, the developer claims that if you have an AMOLED display, uh, this could potentially save you a lot of um, battery power. So that's, you know, but again, if the screen's dim, probably will, right? Um, so you can just click on enable screen filter and that'll do that for you. If you want to turn it off, press it again. Now, I made the mistake of actually... Um, testing out what it would be like if I set it down to like 2% and the screen goes black, um, which you're screwed, right? No, you're not. Um, all you got to do is just wait because once that uh, setting, it actually has a built-in sort of like dumb dummy setting <laughs> is what I like to call it. Um, if you're like me and you were dumb and set it too low and you can't see the screen anymore, well, how are you going to turn it back off, right, to get back to your display? Um, well, it's actually got this thing where if you set it too low, it'll have this little pop-up message um, that says, you know, uh, the screen setting is really, really dim. You know, uh, you may not be able to see the screen at all, um, do you want to keep the setting or, you know, if you leave it for 10 seconds and it'll revert back to its original setting. Um, so if you do happen to go a little bit too low and you can't see the screen anymore, just wait a few seconds, it'll turn back to normal and all is well. Um, I actually didn't know that because when I turned the screen to, the, the first time I tested it out, I turned it down to 2%, the screen turned off and I started freaking out going, oh boy, what am I going to do now? I was, I, I was afraid I was going to have to do an Android restore uh, and restore to like a, a previous backup because I haven't actually backed up this ROM, but um, so I actually had to pull the battery because I freaked out until I set it to about, you know, 10% enabled the screen filter. And as you can see there, it actually has, and you're not going to be able to make it out on camera, but I can see it just barely right now. There's actually a window that says, uh, you know, you know, in 10 seconds, it'll come back up and see, as you can see there, screen filter was disabled because I didn't um, accept that particular screen filter setting. Uh, anyways, guys, I think this is a really cool app for a lot of you guys out there. If you, if your lowest, um, um, you know, screen dim setting, whatever, is still too bright, there you go. This, <laughs> this bypasses everything. Pretty awesome stuff, eh? Uh, anyways, guys, like I said, I'll be posting a link in the description field to go and download it. Um, hopefully, you liked the video. If you did, uh, show me some love by hitting that likes button as usual. And uh, you might want to consider subscribing for more videos like this one if you already haven't. And if you haven't, man, you probably should. You got videos five days a week, app reviews, device unboxings, device reviews, all kinds of stuff, guys. It's fun here. It's fun. Uh, leave me a comment below if you found this actually useful. Like, how many of you would actually use this? That's that's my question to you guys. How many of you have devices where the dim setting is still too bright? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.